this is uh, this is actually our hundredth year of family grown. Uh, my great grandparents, uh, Edwin C. Roy, and his son, my grandfather Chester, started the original Quality Gladiola Gardens in Saint Anne County, and and right outside Kankakee, Illinois. I grow a lot of cut flowers from the local flower shops. Sunflowers, gladiolas, zinnias, celosia. I've got a few hydrangeas, just uh, odds and ends stuff. I'll try one or two different things over, the, over a year or two and see if that works. But those are my, my staple crops. Uh, vegetables, squash, zucchini, cucumbers, okra, some kinds of peas, uh, hot peppers, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. It's all I've done all my life. I mean, from daylight to dark, running water, moving irrigation pipe, you know, hoeing, uh, you know, weeding, weeding stuff, planting stuff. That's that's all I've ever done. The farmers market runs oh every Saturday starting in May till the end of October. Tuesday markets start in June, July, and August, and uh, we try to try to keep stuff planted to have new plants going all the way to the till the end of August is, is my planting time from March to August. I usually have, a, I'm fortunate enough to have a lot of repeat customers, customers that come week in, week out, all through the season. And uh, typically there's a line in my booth. One thing I do with all my produce, all my flowers, all my vegetables, they're picked within usually 24 to 36 hours of each market day. I know vendors that pick two, three, or four days before the market day and try to put it in a refrigerator, keep it everything. Uh, I don't do that. I want my quality product. If people buy from me, they know my stuff's gonna be fresh. You don't make money at the farmer's market by selling somebody a basket of squash today and they never come back. You sell them a basket of squash and a quarter of tomatoes today and you do that for 26 weeks in a row. And that's the only way you're going to make a living doing what I do. You know, what I've always said, you know, <laughs> I'm a typical farmer. I said, uh, I pray a lot. Pray for rain, pray for dry weather, pray for me to get the crops in the ground. But uh, out here, after the first two or three years, I would, uh, I'd be worried because if I was picking something, I just didn't have enough stuff to go to the market. And uh, I finally realized that that's not what it's about. That uh, I decided a long time ago that uh, God just give me what you want me to have. You know, I'm blessed. I just, that's, you know, if you don't keep your priorities straight and keep your faith in God and what you're doing, then, you know, you're doing it for nothing. I made myself more or less a promise that I was going to try to hit 100 years. And this is it. This is 100 years. And uh, my wife's tried to get me to cut back. My parents have tried to, make, to get me to slow down and uh, everything else. So I don't know. Will I cut back? Will I slow down? I, you know, it's, it's almost time to start enjoying the grandkids and, and the life itself instead of uh, trying to have heat stroke. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do in life. If you don't enjoy it, it's not worth doing. And uh, that's, that's why I've always continue to do what I do.